Hey, everyone. Welcome back for another deep dive yeah. into the world of e-commerce. Mm -hmm. Today, yeah. Absolutely. we are going to be talking about drop shipping in 2024. That's a good one. Specifically, how to start a drop shipping business. Yeah. Um, we've been watching a ton of videos yes. from some really popular drop shipping YouTubers. Mm -hmm. And we're going to break down the classic strategies that still work. Right. And also some of the new and surprising. Definitely some new stuff. Trends yeah, that we saw. For sure. I was really surprised by how much the landscape is changing. Yeah. It's, it's not just about. Yeah. Finding a cheap product on AliExpress anymore. It's so different than it used to be. Oh, yeah. Like, for example, yeah. we saw a lot of YouTubers talking about uh -huh. using AI to, like, build entire stores. Yeah. That's wild. It is wild. And also, the types of products that are hot right now, Yes. they're not, like, problem-solving gadgets anymore. Cool. It's like a whole different vibe. Right, totally. So, yeah. okay. Yep. So before we get into all that, yeah. maybe we should just break down the basics now let's do it. of drop shipping for anybody who's just tuning in okay. and has never even heard of it. Sounds good. Um, so drop shipping is basically you mm. sell a product online, mm -hmm. but you don't actually hold any inventory. Exactly. So when a customer buys something from you, uh -huh. you order it from a supplier, yep. and they ship it directly to the customer. Right to their doorstep. You're basically the middleman. The connector. Yeah. You're connecting the customer with the product. Yep. Um, and you make your profit from the price difference. The markup, yeah. 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 Okay. Cool. So that's drop shipping in a nutshell. Yeah. Huh. Um, yeah. And it's really appealing to a lot of people. Oh, uh, yeah. Especially yeah. beginners because the startup costs are really low. Yeah. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have that overhead. Storing inventory. Yeah. Um, and you can potentially work from anywhere. Work from anywhere. Cool. Freedom. So yeah. it's a really attractive business model. For sure. Um, yeah. But like you said, things are changing. Yeah. Like even AliExpress, which was like mm -hmm. the go-to platform for right. drop shippers, yeah. isn't the only game in town anymore. It's not the only one. Right. Uh, we saw a lot of YouTubers talking about yeah. moving away from AliExpress uh -huh. and using other platforms like AutoDS. AutoDS, yeah. Which offers faster shipping times. Yeah. And even the ability to like customize branding on products and packaging right which is pretty cool that is cool yeah so that was one of the big surprises for me for sure um another big surprise was yeah the types of products yeah that people are selling it's different now it is different yeah i was blown away by some of the stuff we saw yeah tell me about it it's not boring practical stuff anymore right it's like fun quirky yeah attention grabbing products yeah we saw examples like oh yeah a super fancy greens roller. Greens roller. That's become like a status symbol. I know. It's crazy. LED signs for cars uh -huh. that you can customize. Customizable. Yeah. Or shank hits. Mm -hmm. Samurai swords. Who would have thought? I know. Yeah. It's crazy. It is crazy. Like it's not about solving problems anymore. It's not about that. It's about yeah, tapping it's... into trends. Right. And creating that like totally must used. have feeling. That I gotta have it feeling. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I, I think that really yeah. highlights yeah. the importance yeah. of like really diving deep into yeah. your chosen niche. Right. Like That's a lot it. of the YouTubers we watched yeah. talked about following influencers, mm -hmm. studying what's selling well on Amazon and TikTok. Yep. And really like dissecting competitor strategies. Oh yeah. Like you got to be a trend spotter. A trend spotter. Yeah, definitely. You got to understand like the yeah. psychology of your target audience, right? And really like mm. predict what they're going to want to buy. Yeah. Before they even know it. Before they even know it themselves. Yeah. Yeah, that's the key. It's wild. It is. So you got to be plugged into your niche the, and yeah. always on the lookout mm -hmm. for what's next. Absolutely. Speaking of what's next. Yeah. Remember those AI store builders we talked about? Oh yeah, the AI spare builders. Yeah. It's like magic. So some YouTubers are using AI to mm -hmm. literally set up yeah. entire Shopify stores in minutes. In minutes. Like See, products designed. The whole thing. The whole shebang. Yeah. It's wild. Wild. Tools like literally AI store builder yeah. and auto DS mm -hmm. are making it so easy. Ridiculously easy. Yeah. Now, while that sounds super convenient. It does sound convenient. Especially for somebody just starting out. 
Yeah. I'm curious. Yeah. Are there any downsides to this approach? Well, I think the ease and the speed are amazing. Sure. But you do run the risk of ending up with a store yeah. that looks kind of generic. All right. You know? Like it doesn't stand out. Yeah, it doesn't stand out. Yeah. And there's a lot of competition out there. Totally. So standing out is key. Yeah, you got to be unique. You got to be unique. You got to be memorable. Yeah. So mm -hmm. even if you're using AI, right. you still need to put in the work Yeah. to make your brand yeah. your own. Your own special thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So let's talk about marketing. Okay. Like, yeah. how do you actually get people yeah. to your awesome store? Right. How do you get them there? The YouTubers we watched mm -hmm. basically broke marketing down okay. into two main camps. Two camps. Organic. Okay. And paid. So mm -hmm. organic marketing mm -hmm. is all about yeah. building a following mm -hmm. and attracting customers. Yep. Without paying for ads. Without paying. So yeah. think like TikTok to and talk, it. Instagram. Yeah. Reels. Yeah. Reels. Mm -hmm. YouTube shorts. Oh, all so those platforms yeah. where you can potentially go viral. Go viral. And get tons of free traffic. Free traffic. Who doesn't love that? Exactly. Yeah. So. Um, Going viral sounds kind of daunting. It does sound daunting. Like how do you actually make that happen? Right. What are some concrete steps? Yeah. Or. A lot of the YouTubers yeah. swear by short form video content. Short form videos. Yeah. yeah. So the key is to create like yeah. really high quality videos right. that showcase your product and in an engaging way. Engaging. So imagine you get a sample of your product. Okay. You film yourself unboxing it. Unboxing it. So you highlight its cool features. To highlight the features. Maybe you even use it in like yeah. a funny or unexpected way. Right. The better the visuals, yeah. the more likely it is mm -hmm. to grab attention and get shared. Get shared. So think outside the box. Think outside the box. And don't be afraid to have some fun. Have some fun. We saw some crazy product demos <laughs> oh, yeah. that made me laugh out loud. I bet. Like that... People are getting really creative with yeah, their videos. For sure. Right. Um, so that's organic marketing. Okay. But what about paid advertising? Paid advertising. So paid advertising yeah. can be really powerful. Well, it can be powerful. Once you have a product mm -hmm. that's already selling well. Right. Um, platforms like Facebook and TikTok. Facebook and TikTok. Let you target specific audiences yeah. with laser precision. The laser precision. So your ads are seen by yeah. the people who are most likely to buy. The right people. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So it's all about yeah. finding the right people. Right. At the right time. At the right time. But paid ads aren't a magic bullet. They're not a magic bullet. You need to know what you're doing. You do. Right. Yeah. Like you need to have a sure. solid understanding of your target audience. Right. A clear idea of your budget. Your budget. And the know-how. Yeah. To craft effective ads mm -hmm. that actually convert into sales. Right. You don't want to just throw money away. No. Yeah. So it's a whole other skill set. It's a whole other skill set. So it like, sounds like yeah. starting with organic marketing mm -hmm. is the way to go. Right. Especially if you're on a tight budget. Especially if you're starting out. Yeah. Yeah. But once you've got some momentum, uh -huh. paid ads yeah. can help you scale up big time. They can scale you up. Yeah. Yeah. And don't forget about affiliate marketing. Oh, affiliate marketing. That's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. That can be a great way uh -huh. to get your products in front of. Yeah. A wider audience. Yeah. A wider audience? It's like tapping into a network of marketing superheroes who are ready to promote your products right. to their own audience. Their own audience. So. Yeah. You know what they say. What do they say? For a great starting point. Yeah. Make sure you visit BrianGarbin.com. That's Brian with an I. Brian with an I. And get your free affiliate guide. Okay. Titled 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. 10 steps to becoming a super affiliate. Simply submit your name and email. Okay. And click the verification link. Got it. Sent to your email address. Easy. The link for this is in Brian's YouTube bio. Awesome. I'll make sure to check that out. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so we've talked about yeah. the basics of drop shipping, mm -hmm. the types of products that are hot right now. The hot products. And some marketing strategies. Some strategies. Now, let's get real for a sec. Okay, getting real. Before you start envisioning... Lamborghinis right. and private jets. We need to talk about yeah. the less glamorous side of drop shipping. A less glamorous side. The technical and legal stuff. The nitty gritty. The nitty gritty. Yeah. So setting up your Shopify store was mm -hmm. where it all begins. A foundation. Now yeah. AI can help create mm -hmm. like a basic framework mm -hmm. for your store. Yeah. But you're still gonna want to customize it. 
You are. Like yeah. choose a theme that reflects your brand. Mm -hmm. Write compelling product descriptions. Yes, value. Set your prices strategically. So these really and make sure it's easy for customers to navigate. Easy to navigate. It's like decorating your online storefront. Decorating. Yeah. You want it to look. Make it look good. Inviting. Inviting. And, and professional. Professional for sure. But what about yeah. those essential pages? Uh -huh. Like shipping policies, yeah. FAQs, FAQs, returns, like all that stuff. Yeah, that stuff. Is that important? That is crucial. Okay. Yeah. That. Well, because it provides valuable yeah. information to your customers right. and it also protects you okay. from potential legal issues okay. down the road. So it's not just about aesthetics. It's not just about looks. It's about building well, trust and credibility. Credibility. Okay. Yeah. So, what other legal considerations? Yeah. What other legal stuff should dropshippers be aware of? Well, depending on where you're located uh -huh. and what you're selling, uh -huh. you might need to obtain uh -huh. business licenses. Yeah. Register for taxes mm -hmm. and comply with consumer <laughs> yeah. protection laws. Right. It's always best. Yeah. To consult with a legal professional. Okay. To make sure yeah. you're covering all your bases. Makes sense. Yeah. You don't want to get in trouble. I don't want to get in trouble with the law. No. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we've covered a lot of ground here. Yeah, we have. But I think we've only just scratched the surface. Does the beginning of drop shipping in 2024. Yeah. So All right. stay tuned for Pro 2 of this deep dive. Stay tuned. Where we'll explore even more strategies okay, strategy. and tips. More tips. For building a successful drop shipping business. A successful business. In the ever evolving. The revolving world of e commerce. The world of e commerce. We'll be right back. We'll be back. Yeah, it's like building a solid foundation for your business. You want to make sure everything is in place from the get-go to avoid any headaches down the line. Yeah, totally. It's not just about making those first few sales. It's about creating a sustainable business for the long haul. Exactly. And speaking of sustainability, we were really struck by how many YouTubers emphasize the importance of building a brand, even in the fast-paced world of dropshipping. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, I guess it's easy to think of dropshipping as just like finding product and slapping it on a website. Okay. But there's more to it than that, right? Definitely. It's about crafting a story, an identity, something that connects with your target audience on an emotional level. It's about giving them a reason to choose your store over the countless others out there. Right. So it's about building a community around your brand. That's a powerful concept. It is. And a strong brand can lead to customer loyalty, which is gold in the dropshipping world. Loyal customers are more likely to come back for more and recommend your store to their friends. Yeah, it's like building a snowball effect. Mm -hmm. Speaking of attracting customers, we saw a lot of YouTubers raving about organic marketing, especially when you're first starting out. Yeah, they really highlighted the power of platforms like TikTok, where you can create short, engaging videos that have the potential to go viral and reach a massive audience without spending a dime on ads. But creating videos that actually capture attention and make people want to buy can be tricky. Mm -hmm. What are some secrets to success? Well, one YouTuber, Isabella, shared her process for filming product videos. She emphasized the importance of high quality visuals, good lighting, sharp focus, creative angles, and snappy editing that keeps viewers hooked. She even recommended ordering a sample of your product so you can film an unboxing video and really showcase its features in a compelling way. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah. It's so much more engaging than just showing a static product image. And I bet it helps build excitement and anticipation. Absolutely. And remember, it's not just about posting on one platform. These days, you want to repurpose your content across TikTok, Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts, basically anywhere your target audience hangs out online. Right. Cast a wide net and reel those customers in. We even saw some YouTubers talking about leveraging the power of influencer marketing. Ah, influencer marketing. That can be a game changer. Partnering with influencers who align with your brand and have a dedicated following can expose your products to a whole new audience. It's like tapping into their credibility and influence. Mm. But how do you choose the right influencers? Do your research. Look for influencers whose values and audience align with your brand. Reach out to them, build a relationship, and don't just focus on big names with millions of followers. Sometimes micro-influencers with smaller but highly engaged audiences can be even more effective. Okay, so imagine we've done all that. We've found our winning product, built a beautiful Shopify store, nailed our marketing strategy, and even dotted our I's and crossed our let's legally. Yeah. What's the final piece of the puzzle? Customer service. It's the make or break factor that can turn one-time buyers into raving fans who come back for more and spread the word about your brand. The human touch. In the world of online business, it's easy to forget that there are real people behind those orders. Exactly. Several YouTubers stress the importance of prompt and helpful communication. 
responding quickly to inquiries, resolving issues efficiently, and going above and beyond to make sure customers feel valued can make all the difference. Right. It's about creating a positive experience from start to finish, building trust and rapport with your customers. Because let's face it, a bad customer experience can spread like wildfire on social media. Oh, absolutely. Word of mouth marketing can work both ways. Happy customers are your best advocates. They'll tell their friends, leave positive reviews, and become loyal supporters of your brand. So it's worth investing time and effort in providing top-notch customer service. It's an investment in your brand's reputation and long-term success. Couldn't agree more. Mm. Now, before we wrap up this part of our drop shipping deep dive, we need to talk about one more piece of advice that came up repeatedly from the YouTubers we watched. Okay, lay it on us. Okay. What's the golden nugget of wisdom? It's the importance of continuous learning. The dropshipping landscape is constantly evolving with new trends, tools, and technologies emerging all the time. It's like you're constantly surfing a wave. You've got to stay agile and adapt to the ever-changing conditions. Precisely. So stay curious, experiment with different strategies, keep your finger on the pulse of what's working, and never stop learning. That's the key to staying ahead of the curve in the dropshipping world. So embrace the challenge, be open to new ideas, and never stop growing. And speaking of growth, you know, the best way to scale a dropshipping business. I believe so. It requires reaching the right audience. You got it. Now, how do you reach that audience, affiliate marketing? Right, you are. You know what they say for a great starting point? Make sure you visit briangarten.com, that's Brian with an I, and get your free affiliate guide titled 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. Simply submit your name and email and click the verification link sent to your email address. The link for this is in Brian's YouTube bio. What a great resource. And now back to our deep dive into the world of dropshipping. So far, we've covered a ton of ground from choosing a niche to finding viral products to building a brand and mastering marketing. But there's one crucial question we haven't answered yet. Where do you even begin? Well, based on all the advice we've gathered from those dropshipping gurus, it all starts with choosing a niche. Okay, so it's like picking your lane on the e-commerce superhighway. Right. Right? Like, do you want to specialize in pet products or quirky home decor or eco-friendly gadgets or something totally off the wall? Yeah, exactly. It's about finding that sweet spot between something you love and something that people are actually searching for and buying. So passion meets profit. Exactly. And don't be afraid to niche down and get specific. The more focused your niche, the better you can target your ideal customer. So it's like going from a megaphone to a laser pointer. I like that analogy. Okay, so we've got our niche locked in. Now it's time for the fun part. Finding those viral-worthy products that are going to fly off the virtual shelves. Right. Remember, it's not just about finding products that solve problems anymore. It's about sparking excitement, creating a sense of urgency, or even tapping into a bit of humor. Yeah, we saw some amazing examples of products that tapped into specific communities and fandoms, mm -hmm. like those samurai swords and crocheting kits. It's about finding products that resonate with people on a deeper level. They're not just buying a product. They're yeah. buying into a lifestyle, a community, a feeling. Exactly. So it's all about telling a story. Yeah. Okay, so once you've found a product that you think has that viral potential, it's crucial to validate its viability. Do your research, check its sales history, read reviews, see what the competition is like. Don't just jump in head first. Exactly. You don't want to invest time and energy into a product that's already saturated the market or has a history of quality issues. And don't forget to order a sample yourself. That way you can check the quality firsthand and start creating those eye-catching marketing materials. Great point. Okay. So you found your niche. You've got your product. What's the next step in this dropshipping adventure? It's time to build your online store. So you could spend hours building a website from scratch, mm. but why reinvent the wheel when there are AI tools that can do the heavy lifting for you? You're talking about those AI store builders we mentioned earlier, right? Yeah, tools like AI Store Builder and AutoDS can help you create a functional Shopify store in minutes, complete with trending products and a sleek design. It's amazing how much technology can simplify the process these days. But even with the help of AI, it's still important to personalize your store and make it your own. Absolutely. Think of it like decorating your online storefront. Mm -hmm. You want it to reflect your brand's unique personality. Choose a catchy store name, design a memorable logo, and customize the colors and layout to create a cohesive and visually appealing experience for your customers. And don't forget those all-important pages like your shipping policy, FAQs, return policy, and any other information that will help your customers feel confident about buying from you. Right. It's all about building trust and transparency. Now, once you've got your store up and running, the real magic begins. 
it's time to unleash the power of marketing. And thankfully, there are tons of options to choose from. We saw YouTubers leveraging the power of short-form video content on platforms like TikTok, Instagram Reels, and YouTube Shorts to drive organic traffic to their stores. It's all about creating content that grabs attention, showcases your products, and makes people want to click that buy now button. Oh, and remember that tip about becoming a super affiliate? Of course. Scaling a dropshipping business requires reaching the right audience, and super affiliates know exactly how to do that. That's right. For a great starting point, make sure you visit BrianGarvin.com. That's Brian with an I and get your free affiliate guide titled 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. Simply submit your name and email and click the verification link sent to your email address. The link for this is in Brian's YouTube bio. Now, once you've established a solid organic presence and have a product that's proven to sell, you can consider experimenting with paid advertising to reach an even wider audience. Platforms like Facebook and TikTok offer some seriously powerful targeting options. Exactly. They allow you to get your ads in front of the people most likely to be interested in what you're selling. But remember, paid advertising can be a little bit tricky. You need to do your research test, different strategies, and always track your results. It's like playing with fire. You could burn through your budget really quickly if you're not careful. And no matter what marketing strategies you choose, never underestimate the power of providing exceptional customer service. It's the secret sauce that can turn one-time buyers into loyal fans who rave about your brand to all their friends. Happy customers are your best marketing asset. So make sure you're responding to inquiries, promptly resolving issues efficiently, and going above and beyond to create a positive experience for everyone who shops at your store. It's all about building relationships and exceeding expectations. So as we wrap up this deep dive into the world of dropshipping in 2024, it's clear that while the landscape may be constantly evolving, the fundamentals of success remain the same. You got it. It takes passion, dedication, a willingness to learn and adapt, and a genuine desire to create value for your customers. If you can master those elements, you'll be well on your way to building a thriving dropshipping empire. And remember, in the world of dropshipping, there are no shortcuts to success. But with the right mindset, a solid strategy, and a bit of that entrepreneurial hustle, you can achieve anything you set your mind to. So what are you waiting for? Go out there, find your niche, discover those viral-worthy products, and start building the dropshipping business of your dreams. And be sure to check the show notes for links to all the resources we mentioned today. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. See you next time.